Yo, what's going on guys? Karthus just got a buff, so I'm gonna be showing you how to play him as a jungler here in preseason 11. The enemies are doing some kind of cheeky invade. We got our ward down. There's only so much we could do there because it was all five of them and we're not really grouped. So we're gonna go ahead and just back. We're not gonna wanna fight that. We'll just start on our blue buff. We'll ping it, hopefully we get a leash. If you don't get a leash, it's not the end of the world. You can clear with that one. If it does come to that, we are up against the Master Yi though, so I would like a leash. I want to be as fast as possible. You can crush Yi on Karthus as long as, uh, as long as you're patient with your Qs. Looks like they have Garen top, Yi jungle, Victor mid. Good stuff. So Karthus is a full camp clear jungler. For our runes, we have Dark Harvest, Cheap Shot, Eyeball with Ravenous with perfect timing and uh, Cosmic Insight. You can go for Coup de Grasse and, uh, presence of mind however if they have things that can one shot you like the garen silence or the master Yi, i would really recommend perfect timing it gives so much value hourglass is only a 2500 gold item you can get a lot more value out of that than uh, getting a little bit of extra mana from uh, presence of mind even though you may feel like you're low on health especially with the bad leash you can get high, high on health very quickly on karth jungle typically want to get a second point in your Q before you get your W and you want to avoid ganking till you're level 4 if possible. Karthus at level 4 is a lot stronger. Once you get super low on mana, like I'd say once you're down to a fourth mana, you usually want to turn off your E because it'll drain you. It'll suck you dry pretty fast. Like one second of E costs more than a Q, even though a Q does way more than one second of E. Against wraps, you want your Q to be hitting the whole thing. The only camp where you don't really want your Q to be hitting the whole thing is Golems. Because you want to single out the big one first since the big one does so much damage. And use a little bit of RQ. The lower you are in mana, the more mana regen you get back from uh, your jungle items. So there's a fine line in finding that sweet spot. I think we found it there. And try to block off the big one. It's a little bit harder this season. Oh, we did a pretty good job of it though. The big one didn't hit us a single time. Gotta use the wall and the original medium one to block it. This one decided he was cool and he was going to reset on us. Now we have our W and we finished our full clear in 3. Thir we finished it like 310 realistically with a, with a semi-mediocre leash. And a flash on him. I don't know if Ezreal had flash while I was waiting to use my Q. I didn't want to throw out my Q. And then just have him immediately flash it. So when I flashed on when he was low, I just had my E on. And I was going to walk with him until he used his flash or dash. And with champions that have really strong dashes, that's a very particular case. I think the Master Yi's top side. Probably start with his bot side jungle. We're going to turn off our E. When, you're, when you don't have blue buff, you don't really want to just leave your E on. You'll just run yourself oom like we were talking about. Here's actually a good, good spot to back. I would like a little bit more gold. But I don't think we're going to be able to kill them there. Uh, Yeah, I guess that's fine. We'll just get the Blasting Wand. Luden's Tempest and Leandre's are your best two items on Karthus. If they have tanks, they only have the Garen. Then Leandre's is really good. But if they don't have tanks otherwise, the Luden's is uh, typically a little bit better for the mag magic penetration it gives. The flat magic penetration is quite powerful on Karthus is our early game. Mastery's bot side. We're going to push into his top side jungle here after wolves. His top side camp should be spawning back in. He already took top scuttle as well, so we don't want to walk out this way or we'll run into scuttle. We're going to want to run this way. We may have to guard top side. York TP bot side. Uh, looks like we... We may actually. Yeah, we're gonna go grab that. We'll save the turrets some plates, plus we'll grab a lot of gold next P. One minion wave is like two and a half monster camps. Something like that. At least in terms of XP, minion waves give quite a bit more than monster camps. Click on my E, kill that minion, then I'll try to leave this one to freeze the wave out. It's gonna hold it in a nice little spot for York. 
and uh, we'll cross over to our wraps. We'll get level six. We haven't had many gank opportunities yet. I don't want to gank for Seraphine. Ganking for things like Vladimir and Seraphine on Karthus is usually pretty trash. You want your laners to have hard CC. Or you want the enemies to be low on health, one or the other. None of my lands really have hard CC. Kind of the York cage, but that's about it. Having things like Nautilus is fantastic for Karthus. It lets you land your Qs super easily. You can just machine gun them out with a lot of confidence. Ooh, we have our R now. Once you have your R, I like to ping it at least three times. That way your teammates know that you're ready to use it and you're watching the map. Take out the big one first. Looks like they got Dragon, kind of sucks. Master Yi's blue buff spawning in right now. We can head over there. Yeah, we'll head over there. I really don't want my bot lane to back on me right now. This Senna is not paying attention. I don't think I hit her with my slow, but Janna hit her with hers. Got him. Oh, they're getting wrecked. I need my R. I don't think I can kill him though. He has just a little bit too much HP. If I was full item, my R would kill him, but it can't, especially because he used potion. I need to hurry up and take E's blue. Hopefully Ezreal doesn't, oh, I think Ezreal's coming for me. No, he's not, Never mind. If he was, I was gonna wait in the bush and cheese him, but he's not actually coming over here. They know I'm here because of the scuttle crab too, so their support's likely to come over here. All right, nice, I got their blue buff. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, I'm gonna use my R now. Ezreal's really, really low. Oh, he's ignited, shit, I didn't even realize. I'm gonna go to my blue buff. Oh, I got a Dark Harvest from somewhere though. I don't even know who I got it from, but that's pretty neat. I'm gonna throw out my W for vision. I didn't want Mastery sneaking up on me. Turns out he went bot lane. Your Q and your R both give you good vision to check bushes with. They're both really good at doing that. I'm just going to go ahead and smite that. It's getting a little bit too close for my taste. He's bot lane, so we want to invade his top side. Karthus is a slow moving jungler, so if there's action happening on the map, you need to be realistic on whether or not you can get there. You're not Ramus, Hecarim, <laughs> Lilia. It's going to take you a while. You got to take your time. You're an old man, right? Um, Victor. He's, got, he's really healthy. Master Yi was bot. I'll try to take all of this. I assume he's just going to go to his blue buff from bot lane. Yeah, there he is. He's still there. I already took my red buff too. Worst case scenario, he gets just like my raptors or something silly. So if he's good, he'll take both of them because he's about to miss all of this. Oh, how do they know? Does Senna ult give vision if it hits you? Alright, we're shredding him pretty good, but we got to... I don't know if Garen's coming over here. I wasn't really paying attention. Oh, yeah, he's over here. All right. Yep, that's a real jump scare. Holy shit. Oh, he's coming into my jungle, dude. Is I think he's right here. Yeah, he is. Gonna put a Q right on my head. Oh, he almost got me, the fuck? I was like half health. Yeah, so when a melee's on top of you, you just put your Q on top of yourself and then you can walk backwards like that. And then they, oh, I didn't want to do that. Holy fuck me, dude. Jesus, I was not trying to do that. I accidentally got hit the grunt with my E. It's doing 90 per auto. This is gonna, I guess this should be easy then. Once we have blue buff, we could toggle our Eon a bit more. Plus, we just got to level up, so a little bit of extra bonus HP. We just sucked up all of our mana, so we have to back it up. Mm, yeah, I just kind of want to get out of here. So our wolves are up now. I thought Mastery took these. This is trippy. Did he not take my wolves? Is he just like recalling in the wolf pit? Alright, let's reset. 
We are in a pretty good reset spot. I'm sitting on my R. I'm going to ping out the Yi. I have my Luna's Tempest. I'm going to pick up my boots and that. I have my R ready. That was fantastic from Najana. She ulted Yi right into the turret. My R is ready. That, that was good from the Janna. We almost got the kill on Yi. I don't. I, I assume he had Meditate. I wasn't sure if he used it there. He's really low on health. I feel like he didn't have Meditate. Cool. We got an assist off that. We can go for Dragon now. We can go for Dragon. With Yi low, Ezreal dead. Ooh, come on Yi, don't do this to yourself. I don't want to do Yi like that, but it is kind of nuts how one Q and one auto from him does half my health. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> oh man, I'm, it's going to feel a lot better once I have Hourglass for the armor. There we go. Get my pink word down. Make sure this shit stuff isn't warded. Figured he would have taken this stuff. Just checking as I'm crossing through mid regardless. That means he's going to be on his Raptors next. I'll head over there. Garen may actually rotate. I might as well get a turret plate since I'm crossing through. I'll take. Ooh, I didn't even take a turret shot. Oh, we didn't kill him though. Meditate. I think we could actually get him here. I have my Zonis. I could have baited it harder than I did. I have my stopwatch right now. He's going to his uh, golems. I think Victor's rotating though. What? Did he already take his golems or did Garen take his golems? Yeah, what was he thinking? <laughs> That's not going to turn out well. Oh, fudge me, dude. I couldn't even see. Oh, well played by Garen. He had, I think he flashed on me. Not 100%. I think he did. I do have to complain, though. You know, when I see a skin that makes it hard for me to play the game, I do have to air my grievances. When he pressed R, right? When he pressed his fat point and click R on my head. And I was dead. I can still hit him because the Karth is passive. You get to kill him while you're dead for seven seconds. I couldn't see anything. His R enveloped my screen in this blurry white light for an extended period of time. Like second half, two seconds. I couldn't see anything. So that, that's all I'm going to say about that. I feel like it's fine for the skin particles to be different or have a different chroma. But I don't like when the skin itself makes it harder for me to play the game. And you may say, well, that seems like an awfully specific example. Yeah, there's others though, like things like Lux. There's a lot of Lux skins where I can't tell what's happening. Where she'll throw out an ability, I can't tell if it's an auto or an ability. Or, or anything. I can't even tell like where it's going, or like if it's an E or a Q. It's like too hard to tell. But uh, luckily it's generally not an issue in League of Legends. And League of Legends has even admitted to it. Like for you can't even play certain Lux skins in pro play. Like I'm pretty sure still Legion Lux. I know there's at least two Lux skins that are not legal for pro play, but it's like, if it's not legal for pro play, why is it legal for ranked? You know what I mean? Especially, I don't even have bad vision. I, I, don't, I don't use glasses. I do well on my eye exams, right? So imagine somebody who doesn't have good vision, just like how absolutely boned they would be by Lux. Think of the children, dude. All right. Garen, I'm coming for you, big boy. Oh, I'm out of mana. What am I doing? Luckily, you get mana back from killing things on Karthus. Nice, nice, nice. Could take Carol there for free. I'll just continue to farm it up. Build into my Zhonyas. We still have our stopwatch with that being said. Oh, using my jungle, that rat. It's tearing up my girls. I gotta go protect my ladies. Nice. 
seeing a lot more Seraphine mid lately. I'll push into his blue side. Should get only got red buff. His blue buff may be up. What are you doing, Senna? Just kill her with my auto attacks and my E. I was trying to predict her movements with my Q, but she's she went a different way than I was expecting her to move towards her scuttle crab speed up. Well, she wasn't too interested in that. Yeah, I have nearly double UCS. Every time he goes in for a gank or shows up on the map for too long, I'll punish it. It's one of Carvathus's greatest strengths. It's not that he's mobile, so that he can clear fast. I just gave away my position on the minions. He doesn't seem like he's paying attention, though. He's looking at that sweet, sweet Seraphine. Got it. I could, I could bait the crap out of this guy. Okay, maybe not. I didn't get off the. I queued once and then I hourglass early. Like I hourglass right when he queued me instead of like right when his queue was about to end. So I actually misplayed that pretty bad. I'll go get that dragon. I'm gonna ping out my R and look for. Ooh, Victor, I see you, buddy. I see you. That's big stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, I'm starting to like Karthus more and more this season. Like, he was a pretty bad jungler, but after they buffed him, he's kind of playable now. Against melee champions, or if your teammates are going even in lane, if your teammates are all losing lane, Karthus is worthless, because then you never have anything to R. But I'd still say Elise is my favorite AP jungler right now. But uh, if Karthus gets buffed again, or if Elise were to get nerfed, then Karthus would be my favorite AP jungler. And before you say, well, what about Evelyn? I still like her, but she's not very high up on my list. I feel like too many of the meta junglers right now, like Graves or Nunu or Kane, just all directly counter her. Like, those are all really, really hard matchups, or at least in higher elo. In lower elo, a lot of bad matchups on any given champion can be mitigated greatly due to the skill curve or the lack of the lower elo pressuring weak early game champions like Evelyn. Nice R from the John of like, will she make it? Master, he doesn't have R. Oh. I'm going to take this and get out of here. Nice. That's really good. Nice. All right. Let's get this Herald. Mastery's blues coming up right now. I can't really help them mid. I'm out of mana. Luckily with Herald, it's more about your auto attacks and the mana. Every auto attack you put on it, it makes the eye come out faster to a maximum of like every, I think it's three or four seconds last time I read it. So you won't really want to weave in an auto in between each Q when fighting. Herald against your monster camps, it's like auto attack Q, auto attack Q, Q, auto attack. Like, your first auto, like your auto attack has a longer cooldown than your Q's on Karthus. So it's normally, I'll show you what I'm trying to talk about here. It gets, all right, look. All right, it's not even there. All right, there it is. So normally this is what it looks like. It's like auto attack Q, then you go Q, Q, like auto attack, Q, Q, auto attack. That way you're not having to wait because your auto attack has a longer cooldown than your Q's do essentially, especially the more items you get. But once you have like one full item, you don't really have to auto attack your camps anymore unless you're running really low on mana. Because like your Q is just doing so much more damage that it's just not even really beneficial to swing it in there. Since I'm low on mana, I'll mix some in. Sitting on my R right now, a bunch of gold as well. Pretty sure Mastery's blue buff is ripe for the pickings. Checking the bushes for pinks. Oh, Garen, why would you do that? That wasn't yours to take. We gotta bop him for that. Damn. Oh, am I gonna die here? I think I'm dead. I I thought that was Senna. That was so confusing. He stretched so far out from inside of Senna's 
I don't even know what a Senna ability that is. I assume it's, that's a Senna W. I don't know, though. It's a Senna W or a Senna E. He stretched out so far from Senna to where I had no idea what was happening. I was like a deer in the headlights there. I was out of position, though. I'm just running around with way too much gold on. Talking about uh, Karthus QQ auto attack or auto attack. Auto attack Q. Jeez, I can't even remember now. What was it? It was auto attack. QQ, auto tap, QQ, something like that. I've talked about this before. All right. Let's get that. Or do we want Morello? Probably should get Morello or at least a Blivian Orb because of the Master Yi. Blivian Orb is pretty good to cut the healing on the Yi Senna. Just, we need to keep team fighting and taking the dragons. And especially in the mid game on Karthus, it gets too dangerous to be out on your own. You're such a slow champ. They have too many tools for killing me on their team. So we're gonna group behind our teammates. Oof. Ooh, I should have I should have walled that sooner. He's a goner, dude. He just used his barrier. What was he thinking? That's a good Caitlyn R. She's dead. That's probably GG. Why are, why are we ro running away, guys? We have the man advantage on them. We're running away for some reason. We just lost our Herald. Now let's go get the dragon. <laughs> that was so weird. <laughs> we're standing here 4v1 and we're running away. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, dang. We could have probably ended the game there too if we kept Harold up. We kept crunching the turrets with Caitlyn. Karthus can solo dragons at any point in the game. It's really easy because of his Ravenous Hunter. He heals off of it essentially. And he, since it's a single target, his Q does max damage. The Q does half damage if you hit more than one target. It does double damage if you're only hitting one. So when you're fighting golems, you only hit the big golem at first until you kill it. Does Janna get out here? Wow, she's fast. He's fast too, though. I assume she gets away. Wow, that is just mind-boggling. How did that happen? She has Swifties. How is he faster than her? Doesn't make sense. She must have been moving weird. She should have been faster. And now we're just waiting for our arm. We're waiting for Jonna to come back up. You don't need to force plays. The teammate gets picked out of position. You just farm the camps. That's what we're doing. Waiting for a opportunity. We're gonna go ahead and reset. We'll leave the golems. We can afford our full Morello anyways. And my R is up. I also have a feeling like my team's about to do something regrettable. If you don't want your teammates to know who's pinging, just do the blue pings. Like I just pinged out. We need to push top there with those three beautifully placed pings along the lane. Even if they hate the sound of pings. With how perfectly those were placed on the mini map. That's just, they can't be mad. And he's pushing, that's good. We, we shouldn't even be mid right now. We already have our mid and hip. Dragon's not up for another three minutes. Ah, it should probably be us four pushing top while York pushes bot, realistically. That way we can still threaten the Baron if they all go bot. Found you, big boy. Ooh, I know you like that. Wow, I finally landed one. Do I have anyone to R? Kinda. Why are we mid though? Yeah, buddy. Good stuff. Let's push the lanes. Master, he's dead. This is a free push. Ow. That's a lot of damage. A 
That's frustrating. I had my hourglass too. Why did I die to that? <laughs> Why are they walk? They're walking into me, dude. <laughs> I didn't want to use R because they were all full HP, but man, they're just I've thrown out max range cues and they thought they could fight. That's probably GG. We could end it here. They only have Master Yi up. He can't do anything against Jana. John is probably his biggest counter in the whole game with her displacements. You can't QSS any of her CC. I guess the Zephyr slow, that hardly counts though. If I would have just used my Hourglass or Flash, basically if I would have done anything, I would have lived. I need to get some sleep, man. If you guys enjoyed this Karthus Jungle Commentary Guide though, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And feel free to come chat and chill live on stream. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.